bags are starting to become all packed. As you can see, my room's starting to return to what it looked like. I'm starting to reflect on the week that I've had and the experiences that I've had. And it's inspirational. We must go home and we must inspire others. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Astonishing news from East Germany, where the East German authorities have said, in essence, that the Berlin Wall doesn't mean anything anymore. Wir wollen in einem vereinten Europa dem Frieden der Welt dienen. Like hundreds of young people, Phoebe Hawthorne came to Berlin with a dream. I believe that two or three years down the road, when we're looking back, we may be able to say that 350 youth and young adults coming together and discussing issues of the church may be enough to provide unity for the future of the United Methodist Church. And I believe that is the goal of everyone being here. At a crucial time in the life of the United Methodist Church, more than 300 young people from across the globe traveled to Berlin to discuss one of the most important subjects in their lives, their church. Yes, it's a critical time. The number of the Methodists is decreasing worldwide instead of increasing because that is what God wants us to do. For five days, the Estrel Convention Center in Berlin, Germany, became a global village filled with young United Methodists from across the globe. They brought with them ideas and issues that confront our culture and our church. They discussed those issues, worshiped together, visited congregations, and shared experiences in a city reborn after a wall was torn down. All within the theme of unity. On that side over there, where we just walked, where West Berlin. Now here we are in the former East Berlin. Unity is not something that we can do. It's something that God does. Four young people shared their experiences along the way. Each was given a video camera to record their thoughts. Their footage was unique as the person. We're walking around on the streets. It's awesome. I'll record more later. Joy Eva Bohol is the national president of the United Methodist Youth Fellowship in the Philippines. She came to Berlin determined to pass climate change legislation. You know, uh, climate justice is very important for me because uh, I've been involved in environmental organizations in the Philippines and I have seen how it has you know, uh, devastated a lot of Filipinos, especially those who are poor. Nozifo Maishi lives in a township in Devon, South Africa, and has never traveled outside her village. Before we came here, never dealt with the legislation, which is the most important thing that actually brought us here. So it kind of uh, brought some tense uh, environment for us. It was a little bit tense, but Luckily, we are all the children of God. Isaiah Roke, from a Seattle suburb, goes to church every Sunday, yet has struggled to stay in high school. He almost failed to graduate. To be honest, uh, I, I've made a lot of bad decisions. I've skipped a lot of school. I, I had court dates for that. I would skip school to smoke weed, and that, that got in the way of a lot of the things I actually wanted to do. So you come to Berlin thinking you're going to see the Berlin Wall, but actually, we're making our own Berlin Wall. Phoebe Hawthorne, a finance major from Columbia, Mississippi. It's been amazing just seeing so many different people, um, especially at this conference, just so many people from so many different backgrounds with so many different stories. 
The hope is that the Global Young People's Convocation and Legislative Assembly will have a profound effect on the church and the lives of each young person that has come to Berlin. They hope their voices will be heard. It is important for the General Board of Discipleship to help young people have a voice. And what made me happy this evening are, is the unity that you have are, at this church. These young people provide a sense of hope for a good bit of the church that feels somewhat hopeless. The worship that we did at the Berlin Dome, I believe that most of the participants, if not all of them, who were a part of that experience, will remember that as a high marker in terms of their, their spiritual experience in life. When I went up there, I just, I went up there because uh, the people I was with were going up there. I asked to pray for my family, to keep the Lord on giving me the self-control that I've been having, because I've, I've been uh, pretty close to like dipping into the other life I had. It was really awesome though. She held my hand, she squeezed it tight. She was there for me. And I, I felt like she was, I felt good. So I think that really set the stage for the beginning of the full group legislation sessions. It's here, in these legislative sessions, that young people bring issues close to their heart. Before this event, legislation is submitted for consideration in Berlin. Participants, like Joy from Manila, craft the legislation with limited assistance from adult leaders. The legislation on climate change is about the church responding to the call of climate change. Through climate change, there have been flooding and you know, pollution, and mostly those who are affected by it are those who are um, below marginalized. Legislation that's approved here in Germany travels directly to the General Conference, the highest body of the United Methodist Church. Getting there will be the hard part. It's not a matter of, uh, I'm debating with this person, but I'm, um, I'm having an important exchange with someone that I've also had some other kinds of exchanges with in worship, and through the cultural experiences that we've been a part of. We somehow managed to, to unite despite all our differences of opinion in the, the way we interpret the Bible. But I think the spirit of unity is there and the spirit of love, I, I've seen it. During the legislative assembly, there were opportunities for all members to discuss petitions in smaller groups. It was a time to connect, share, and grow. For me, the idea of the Methodist Church is that to get people together so that they really can experience that they belong to a worldwide church and that we all have one faith, maybe with different traditions, but we all have one faith in one church. It's really an amazing event here that we love each other and we're united. Although we have different, different stand, but at the end of the day, we still are, you know, we still go back to who we are serving, which is, who is God. And for Isaiah, who sometimes struggles with making the right choices, it was ultimately about sharing in a safe environment. It was about love. Everyone I just, they show their love right away, even though they barely know me. I'm equal with them, they don't judge or anything. All they have is love for one another. I can see God working through me, he wants me to do something important. It's just awesome, flat out awesome. One of the greatest rewards of the convocation is developing a deeper understanding of the world. There were opportunities to explore Berlin and its history and connect with local United Methodist congregations. I'm hoping to let uh, this event to learn more uh, about the cultures of other countries and what the youth do there, what's the activities. Is that the red, red man? He's called the Ampelmännchen. 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 
That means little, little uh, traffic man. Traffic, little traffic light man. Ah. The night before returning home, there was time for each country represented to share their culture and relax from a week's worth of work and learning. They came from every part of the world to share their vision of what the church should be. Nozifo, Phoebe, Joy, and Isaiah say they will return home with a renewed commitment to their church and perhaps most importantly, to their faith. You can really feel the spirit moving into the hearts of these people, that they see you not as Asian, not as African, not as European, not as American, but they see you as a child of God. Spiritually, I've grown uh, a lot. When I'm going back uh, in Africa, I would definitely be a, a different person. I felt so comfortable, and I felt the spirit of God. Being here has changed me a lot, a lot. I don't think I'm ever going to forget this experience at all. I think this is going to stick with me forever, like one of those things like riding a bike, just I'll never forget. After this conference, I hope that we remember this. We continue to be one United Methodist Church for the transformation of the world.